Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to manage rental products in Knob Commerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.80. So, rental products in Knob Commerce basically allows a store owner to offer rental products to the customer. So, for an example, if you are running, let's say, a bookstore and you give books for on rent to the customers, you might need this feature in order to offer customers rental products, in this case books, and charge them, you know, per day, per week, any rental cycle. So this way um, you can actually offer different options on the rental products in AppCommerce. So in order to learn or understand how rental product works or how you can configure rental products, let's go to the administration section. In the admin section, uh, we are going to go in catalog and products. So for an instance, let's try to add a new product as a rental product. So in this case, we are going to create, let's say, black necklace. Here goes the short description. We can talk about necklace here. So in this example, basically, let's say, you know, you can think of a um, e-commerce store that offers jewelry and, you know, you might want to offer a product that you give on rent to the customers. So, if you scroll down here, there's an option called Rental. We are just going to check this option, and here you can see different options for the rental. For an instance, Rental Period Length. So, Rental Period, you can select based on days. You might want to charge based on weeks, months, years. So in this example, I'm just going to keep it as days. Save and continue. And just going to add a picture here to the product. Save and continue. Okay, so now we have seen how we can add a rental product. It's pretty much simple and very straightforward in Knob Commerce. So if you go in the public store, let's search for black necklace. And here we have the black necklace product on the public store. And here we can see it looks quite different from a regular product. So let me just give you an example of how the regular product looks like just so that you can compare. This is a standard product where you know a customer can buy and simply add the product to the cart and they will be charged for this item. But in this case, we have start and date. As you can see, I have not added the price. I'm just going to go in the product info and put a price here. Let's say I would like to charge $25. It will be per day base. Because I have selected rental period as days. Save and continue. And now if I refresh it, it will update the price. So now I will have to basically put as a customer that you know what I would like to rent this product, which is $25 per day for two days, let's say. So I will put a future date in it. In this so let's say I select January January 20th and end date so if I select 22nd these are two days so it actually updated the price $50 because 25 per day so if I click on rent added the card and here we can see in the shopping cart it basically will tell the customer that you are renting this product for two days it's going to cost $50.
and this is how we add rental product in NopCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NopCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.